What up everybody, welcome back to a brand new FIFA 20 storyline video. It's Friday, EA have released multiple players for us to grind towards to. There is the James objective, who is fairly easy to complete in squad battles. I think I'll throw him into an SBC since I already have Bernardo Silva on that right wing. I am missing a rivals objective though, EA have not given us this one this week. There is also the Arturo Vidal SBC, but that one is crazy expensive, 286 rated squad, so I will not complete that card. But of course, the main topic of this video are the storyline players, but before we take a look at them, if you're new to the channel, please smash that subscribe button and let's get to 1000 subs. Alright boys, here we go! One does not simply walk into Mordor. So first things first, at level 15 we can choose between Morales, Andre Gomez and Tete. Morales has high medium work rate, 4 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot. Taking a look at the pace we see 97 pace with 95 acceleration and 98 sprint speed. His agility is a little bit low 87 but the rest of the stats are phenomenal. 92 balance and reactions, 93 ball control, 95 composure and 98 dribbling. His stamina is also fantastic with 95, it's just the strength and aggression that is a little bit low on this card. His shooting is also really good, 93 attacker positioning, 92 finishing, 90 long shots and 87 shot power. Curve 91, also good if you want to hit that finesse shot. So, you know, this card is a little bit like last season. What we ended on was a 90 or 91 rated Gabriel Jesus, who has similar stats like this card. For cam styles, you can put a marksman on him, boost that shooting, dribbling, and a little bit of the physical. I prefer the dead eye cam style on this because, you know, the passing game, I like to play build up passes with my strikers as well. So, you know, passing and shooting, that's the way to go for me. So, I would put a dead eye cam style on him. I give you facts. They don't give they me are not facts. A the second player to choose from is Andre Gomez. Medium medium work rate isn't ideal for a center mid. 4 star skill moves and 4 star weak foot as well. So this pace is already to say no against this card. I mean there is Fabinho and Dombele and Bruno Fernandes, Foden. There's so many Premier League midfielders out there with way better pace. So this guy will not be it for me. Also, if you look at his agility and balance, you see 76 and 74, so he will feel really heavy on the ball. The rest of his dribbling stats look phenomenal though, 90 reactions, 95 yeah, ball yeah, control, boy. 96 dribbling and 97 composure. Also, his passing is out of this world with 94 short pass, 92 long pass and 91 vision. He can even hit a long shot for you with finesse, 90 long shots, 91 curve, 99 shot power, all really good. You know, the finishing is low, 83, so you don't want him as a cam. You want him as a central midfielder. Also, his defending is not good enough to be a CDM. 87 stand tackle, 86 defensive awareness. You know, so he is a center mid, but you know, with that pace, don't do it, guys. Don't go for this player just because he's Premier League. I mean, then go for the highest rated and uh, throw him into an SBC. If you do choose this player, you should drop a shadow cam style on him, boost the pace to 97 acceleration and 97 sprint speed, and also defending will be almost maxed out, so you could use him as a CDM. But still, you know, it's a cam style to boost it. You will still feel really slow and heavy on the ball. You're not gonna last too long. It's the threat. No. It's a promise. And the last player to look at from the level 15 rewards is Kenny Tete. He has medium high work rate, which is perfect for a defender, three star skill moves and three star weak foot. You know, he has had a massive boost from his 77 rated card. So, and this guy looks really tasty. There are not a lot of uh, right backs from the French league. So, you know, this guy might be worth a shout. Taking a look at his pace, we see 95 pace with 91 acceleration and 98 sprint speed. His defending is phenomenal. 89 interceptions, 91 defensive awareness, 96 stand tackle and 98 slide tackle. Also, his physicals are really good. 92 stamina, 90 strength, 95 aggression. So this guy is, you can use him as a CDM. He will be fantastic as a right back. His dribbling is also really good. 88 agility might be a little bit on the lower side uh, in July. 99 balance, 97 reactions, 93 ball control, 88 dribbling and 96 composure. So his dribbling is phenomenal. He will probably feel really rapid. His passing is okay. 96 short pass, 94 crossing. We don't use crossing that much in this game. 79 vision and 84 long pass is low and also the curve really low. I am liking this card. From all three cards, this will be the card that I will choose 
Even if I don't use them, it's a 92 rated card. I can use them in an SPC if I don't really want them. But you know, I can link them to Marquinhos. I don't have a right back from the Liga. I do have Danilo, who I absolutely love as a Brazilian. He links up to Marquinhos as well. So I still take this card and I think I can throw him into an SPC if I don't really need him. Now let me bring you up to speed. We know nothing. You are now up to speed. The second set of players we can only achieve at level 30. That will be in four or five weeks. So again, EA is behind the power curve. Gabriel Jesus, we just unlocked him. He's 91 rated, but you know, with all the summer heat cards, they're all 93, 94, 95. So I'm not using Gabriel Jesus. So it's, it's a pity. I grinded towards him only to throw him into an SBC. And with these cards, probably the same 92, 93 and a 93 rated cards. The first player to look at is Anthony Marshall. High low work rate, four star skill moves and four star weak foot. His pace is out of this world. 96 acceleration, 98 sprint speed. Also his dribbling is fantastic. 94 agility, 89 balance, 90 reactions, ball control, 97 dribbling, 98 and 89 composure. So his dribbling is fantastic. He will feel super fast. His stamina is good with 90 and he even has strength, strength 89. So that's really good. It's too bad the aggression is a little bit low. His shooting is phenomenal. 95 attack and positioning and finishing, 97 shot power with 99 curve and 89 long shots. So I will definitely shoot from outside the box with this card with a little bit of finesse. I mean, wow. <laughs> Lastly, his passing game is also really good. 95 short pass, 73 long pass sucks a little bit, but 89 vision and 88 crossing is okay. So yeah, he fits the meta of the game with the pace, the dribbling and the shooting, and he even has strength as a bonus. For a chem style, I will probably use a marksman on him as well. Max out the shooting, boost that dribbling, add that physicals. I mean, it's good. He's from the Premier League, 92 rated. But again, like I said, this one will be out of date in four weeks. I already have 93 Origi and there will probably be more super strikers from the Premier League in a few weeks. So yeah, are we going to use him? Probably not. But still, Anthony Marshall, he is a phenomenal player. So I would love to have him in my club. Second player to look at is Federico Bernadeschi. He has high medium work rate, five star skill moves, and he has a one star weak foot upgrade up to four star weak foot. That pace is phenomenal, 96 acceleration, 95 sprint speed. The uh, dribbling is also spectacular, 88 balance is a little bit lower, 90 reactions low, and ball control dribbling, 99, 92 composure, and 95 agility. So he will still feel really smooth and fast on the ball. Stamina 96 is good lacking a little bit of strength and aggression. Also, if we take a look at the shooting, we see 99 shot power long shots and 93 curve. So you can know you can shoot with him from outside the box, perfect. Finishing is low with 82. So, you know, it's good that he has that 94 attacking positioning, but that finishing is really low. So in the Serie A, we have Cristiano Ronaldo on the right wing, the shapeshifter card. We have the Politano card, which is unusable for this game. So yeah, this Bernadeschi card can be a really good shout on the right wing. There's a lot of Serie A players from Summer Heat right now. We just got the Rebic, we've got uh, Belotti, Verdi, but we don't have a winger. So yeah, this might be, if you're rocking a Serie A team, a good shout for you on the right wing. Shit, Negro, that's all you had to say. <laughs> and lastly, Emre Chan. Medium, medium work rate, sucks a little bit. Four star skill moves and four star weak foot is really good for a CDM. He has 88 pace with 85 acceleration and 89 sprint speed. His defending is phenomenal. 94 interceptions, defensive awareness and stand tackle. 91 slide tackle, which we don't do too much of in this game. 97 stamina, 92 strength and 96 aggression. So, you know, he's a really good CDM. His dribbling is also fantastic. He just feels a little bit heavy on the ball with 84 agility and 81 balance. But the reactions, composure, ball control and dribbling are all phenomenal. 90 pluses. Passing game is really good. 99 short pass, 96 long pass and 93 vision. So you will not have to be afraid of losing the possession with Emre Chan. Also, if you happen to be outside of the box, do take a shot with him. 99 shot power, 95 a long shot. So he can really rip a ball through the net. Oh, oh, shit. Got a little bit of kick to it. If you're rocking a Bundesliga squad, you might want to consider picking this card. I have the Axel Witzel flashback, but that card has only 83 pace. So, you know, they're really similar, except Emery Chan is really fast. Axel Witzel is a beast though, so I can imagine this Chan card 
being really good as well. There's also the Thomas Mounier card, but that one is only usable in drafts. So yeah, if you're rocking Bundesliga squad, you might want to choose this guy. You can drop an anchor camp style on him and max out the pace defending and physical and you've got yourself a quality CDM. So in the end for level 15, I will definitely go for Kenny Tete. I think he's very usable for this stage in the game. He can be a spectacular right back. And if not, he's 92 rated, so nice and high to throw into an SBC. For level 30, I think these cards are again behind the power curve. In five weeks time, nobody will play with these cards. There will be so many better 94, 95, 96 rated cards out there. It's like Gabriel Jesus, we're not playing with him even though he's 91 rated. If they put these rewards for last season, yeah, I would definitely use one of these players. But you know, it is what it is. I will choose from this badge probably Marshall because I'm a fan of him. I think he's an amazing player and he really fits my French and Premier League theme. I do think that if you're rocking a Serie A team or a Bundesliga team that Bernadeschi card looks really good on that right wing and Chan looks really good as well as a CDM. Alright guys, this was it for this episode. Let me know in the comments who are you going to choose? What do you think of this video? Leave a like, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next vid.